Welcome Jazz, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This week's video, we are in a newer location. We are in my bathroom because we are gonna be doing my skincare routine. Before we get started, please make sure to subscribe. It means the absolute world to me. And without further ado, let's get into the steps. So normally I would have a full face of makeup on right now and I'd be showing you the steps that I take um, to take off my makeup. But because we are starting with essentially a clean face, I'm just gonna show you guys what I use to take off my makeup. I know people give a lot of crap to makeup wipes, but I like to use makeup wipes just like as a foundation, so like just to take off the first layer. And then I actually go in with this Clear Away Eye and Lip Makeup Remover by Shein or She Glam. As you can see, it is pretty much done. I do have another one, but this is what I would use with a cotton pad and just like take off all the excess that's on my face that wasn't taken off by the makeup wipe. That would be the first step to my skincare routine. And now we are going to be getting into the actual skincare routine. First things first, gotta put this hair back. So let's do that. Cool. Now, a lot of the products that you're gonna see, they're actually travel size products. And that's because my cousin actually works at a hotel. I think she still works there. I don't know anymore. But they have these like little sample sizes of all these products. And it's actually been a really good way for me to test out products that work better for my skin without having to actually buy a full size product. So this has been really helpful in my skincare routine. I've discovered that some of these products I will end up buying full size, which was kind of my goal. So the first thing that I've noticed that has sort of been helping with my skin is the CeraVe Acne Foaming Cleanser. This is something that I feel like has helped reduce the amount of acne that I get. The one thing though, and if anybody can let me know what this could be because I've done like changing out my like cushion covers or my pillowcases, wash them thoroughly, like is this a hormonal thing? I don't know, but specifically only on my right cheek, I will get acne here or just like here in general. And it's only this cheek, I don't know why. And then I'll get the occasional like blemish here. But other than that, every other part of my face, knock on wood, has just been clear. Another thing that I would also really love for somebody to tell me what this means or how to get rid of it is I have these like skin deep pimples. I don't really know what they're called, but they are whiteheads and I just cannot for the life of me get rid of them or reduce them. They are always there and they come out a lot more when I do my skincare. I remember seeing that salicylic acid was something that was really good for that kind of acne but it made me break out really, really bad. I had to stop using it after the third time. Anyway, now let's just wash your face. So this is what I do first. First, I will, my hands are washed, wet my hands and sort of wet all over my face. I will then go in with the first cleanser, which again is the CeraVe acne foaming one. And I will take just, I don't think that's a pea size amount, but like just that much on the tips of my fingers. Emulsify it in between my fingers and then go straight on my face. Also, I feel like I should address my shirt. I do love the Jonas Brothers, do not get me wrong. They are my childhood. But if you're wondering where you can get this sick ass shirt, I hate to tell you, but it's not for sale. My friend and I, we made custom t-shirts to go see the Jonas Brothers uh, live. It was one of the Christmas presents that I got her. And I was like, you can take anybody. I promise you, I, I've got you two tickets so that you can take anybody. And she like did ass look me in the face and was like, do you think anybody else in my life would go to a Jonas Brothers concert with me besides you? And I was like, well, you don't have to say it like that, but I'll go if you'd like me to. <laughs> and yeah, we ended up making custom t-shirts. I think I'll find a picture. If I find the picture, I'll put it up like right here. That's what her t-shirt had on. And then obviously this is what my t-shirt had on. It was such an amazing concert. We were so close yet so far. They said they were going on tour again in 2025. And when we saw that, we were like, we have to go again. So hopefully they come back to Ottawa because Ottawa doesn't get like major artists come sing. It's always in Montreal, it's always in Toronto. Everybody forgets about the capital, which 
makes me so violent. Anyway, as you can see, I pretty much rub this in until you cannot see the product anymore. And then once that's done, I will go back in with water and wash it off. Something that I like to do to avoid as much water dripping on myself is I will wet my hands and like sort of flick off any excess water and then go on top of my uh, face and use that leftover water on the rest of my face. And then up here is where I keep my face cloth. Just to pat dry my face. And again, like I keep it up here. I don't touch it other than using it for my face and it does not touch anything else, but it's a good place to keep it because obviously my sink is right here. That's right there. It's just away from other bacteria. It's a great place for it to air dry as well. This is a guest towel that has never been used because I haven't had anybody sleep over my house. So I know it's clean. Anyway, now I will go in with a second cleanser. This is the CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser. If you don't know, I have very dry skin. I get real flaky on my nose. In general, my skin is just very dry. So yeah, I will go in with the hydrating cleanser. It feels like a lotion, if I'm being completely honest. Like, I'm not even kidding you. I had to read the directions to see if this was a lotion. Then again, I will water my face water my face i will wet my face very slightly with some water and with my wet hands i will then take just a little bit of the cleanser that much rub it all in my face until i can't see it anymore we go back and we wash and then we pat dry once again okay now that we have finished the cleansing portion we are down to the final steps of my skincare routine which starts off with some toner. I use the Ordinary Glycolic Acid Toner, and I know that normally people put this on a cotton pad, but I prefer to use my hands. I will just pour some on the palm, cup it, and then rub it into my hands, and then straight on my face. The one thing that I really like to do when it comes to skincare is every single step I take, I will spend most of my time making sure that the product is fully rubbed into my skin, essentially giving myself a massage on my face. And typically, I don't stop until I start to feel my face get dry again, just so that I know that the product has actually fully been absorbed by my skin. Next, we are gonna go back in with The Ordinary and use the Hyaluronic Acid Serum. I will just do three drops on my face, one on each cheek, and then one on the top of my forehead. This one I take down the neck. That was really hard to say while I was just pressing my neck. <laughs> Last, but certainly not least, I will go in with a moisturizer. Now, this is one of the products that I feel like I will be buying in a full size. This is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost. This feels absolutely amazing on my skin. And I think it has this like cooling effect. I may be completely wrong, but it feels cool on my face. This will also go down on my neck. If you haven't tried out the Neutrogena Hydro Boost, I would recommend. I know I said last but not least with the moisturizer, but really last but not least is lip balm. I pretty much use any lip balm. This one is by Cleganic. Sorry if I butchered that. That is it for this week's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any recommendations on skincare, I would love to hear them. I'm still sort of trying to find what I really enjoy if I am missing certain products that you think will help my skin, especially that like ingrown whitehead thing that I mentioned before, that would really help as well. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to give it a like. Please don't forget to subscribe. It means the absolute world to me. We are almost at 50 subscribers, which is freaking insane to me. Like I'm halfway to a hundred subs on YouTube. What? <laughs> That's crazy. And I cannot thank those of you who have already subscribed. I cannot thank you enough. Those of you who are constantly engaging with my content, I cannot thank you enough. I need to go. I've got a thing. I have laundry. Bye.